miss. That. Okay, so this one's perfect. It didn't have any milk coming out. This one's gonna be ripe pretty fast. See the difference? This one, when I picked, it didn't have any sap come out, and this one did. Actually, this one I bruised on the bucket because i not a very good basketball player. Well, so this one, see if the difference, if I scratch it, it's still green, but the fact that it didn't leak tells me this one's gonna be ripe a lot faster than this one. What's ripening, YouTube? Hey, I just, uh, just figured out that it's time to start picking fruits from the sapodilla tree or sapodilla tree. Um, check it out. So as you can see, there's a lot of fruit on the tree. Um, I've already been picking. And the reason I started picking is because the animals told me it was time. <laughs> but uh, here's what I got so far. And I still got a few to pick. Usually with these, you want to wait until if you scratch the skin, they'll be brown. These are green. So the brown method doesn't really work for me because the animals get to them before then. What I actually do is um, I'll test them. Like this one, for instance, this one's really small, so I know it's not gonna be right. But if I bend this, come over here. If I bend this stem and it pops off, that's usually my indicator. I do the same thing with my avocados. Um, if you look in here, Here's some more, like this is a this is a better size fruit here, right here. And if I bend this over, usually it'll snap if it's ready. So this one didn't snap, so I'm gonna leave it on. The ones that are in the bucket, they snapped, the, the stem snapped off right away. Yeah, see that one came off instantly. It's got a little bit of milk sap, but that's okay. Usually I leave these in a, in a dirty bucket like that, and I'll rinse these off, and then they're gonna ripen up on the counter. It'll probably take like five to seven days. It might take up to 10 days sometimes, um, but these should be ripe within the week. And then I've got some up here that I haven't been able to reach. So I'm gonna use my, my new picker that I haven't really used that much other than mango season. So hopefully it'll work out with sapodillas. Um, and I'm basically just gonna be jostling them, see if they fall off. If they don't come off really easily, I'll just leave them alone. But anyway, that's what's ripening here. Um, what's ripening at your house?